The People's Freedom Caravan. It's about being able to sit down together and have a conversation. It's about feeling proud as we share our food, our language, our music, and our stories with one another. So many barriers and stereotypes divide us that these simple acts become revolutionary. A social form on wheels uniting our communities. In the spirit of the freedom rides of the U.S. Civil Rights Movement, grassroots organizers and activists from Arizona, Alabama, New Mexico, Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, and Mississippi undertook the People's Freedom Caravan to the first ever United States social forum held in Atlanta, Georgia in the summer of 2007. Southwest Workers Union, Southwest Organizing Project, Southern Echo launched a caravan to address the democracy divide that plagues communities in the southern half of the U.S. And now, in 2010, we are doing it again. The second People's Freedom Caravan to the U.S. Social Forum began on June 18, 2010, from Albuquerque, New Mexico to Detroit, Michigan. There were several other People's Freedom Caravans that joined us along the way. Together, we rode into the second U.S. Social Forum on June 22, 2010. The people on the People's Freedom Caravan are freedom riders. They are people from all walks of life, ages, races, social classes, gender identities, immigration status, and they all believe in justice, liberation, and equality. They all believe that another world is possible, another U.S. is necessary, and each of them are doing their part to make this a reality. Within this group of freedom riders are youth, young people who know that not only is the future in their hands, but their leadership, dedication, and commitment are needed right here and now, today. We know that we do not have the privilege of waiting for the future to take action. Change is in our hands today. Youth media producers Liz Carrasco, Jeremy Jones, and Bashar Jawald provided the technical support to host Josh Horton, who follows and features youth activists Lucia Martinez and Cecilia Frescas from SWAP, the Southwest Organizing Project. Hi, I'm Josh Horton, here with KNM Youth Radio, and I am here with... So my name is Cecilia Frescas, and I was born in Mexico. I am 17 years old. I am a member of SWAP, a coin scholar. And I am passionate about change. I'm Lucia Martinez, I'm 17 years old. I am a member of the Youth Radio Project, and I'm also a member of SWAP, and an intern at Southwest Organizing Project. And I'm really passionate about human rights. Um, so my first question to you guys are, what's one of the reasons why you wanted to go to the U.S. Social Forum? Okay, so one of the reasons why I wanted to go to the U.S. Social Forum was just because of the great opportunity that it is for me to learn about different issues that are going on outside of Albuquerque and it's gonna allow me to understand the different metho metho methods that people are using so that I could bring that back to my community and I could help my community and I could let the others know what's going on and so that I could get outside of my box. What's an experience you've had that makes you wanna go on the caravan or be an activist? Okay. Cecilia? So as an immigrant, I faced a lot of discrimination just for be because I'm an immigrant. So I can relate a lot to just being discriminated for something that I don't think is even a real reason. And that just affects me. It makes me feel angry at the world sometimes. Mm -hmm. But more than angry, it just makes me feel determined to create a change. And the US Social Forum is a great opportunity for me to get exposed to different types of change and to get exposed to people who have also faced that discrimination that I have. And so I could understand that I'm not the only one and that together we can just create that change that we're all looking for. Well, I've had a couple experiences. Um, I think what, what, what has really made me want to be an activist is kind of following in my, my mother's footsteps. She's been <laughs> um, a social justice activist, especially within the youth realm for a really, really long time, and I kind of grew up with the kind of social justice grassroots mentality. But on top of that, um, I've kind of been raised with an awareness that things could be better than they are today, and everybody's equal, and people aren't treated that way even today, especially today, actually. And um, I think 
on the news and in the newspaper, I've been hearing a lot about the Tea Party and all of these nationalist groups who are really racist, in my opinion. And um, instead of letting that frighten me, I want to show people that we all deserve a chance and we're all equal, and I really want to work towards equality. Right. So let me ask you this. What does SWAP mean to you? This is Lucia. Um, well, once again, I kind of grew up in SWAP. I was kind of considered a SWAP baby. Um, but SWAP is kind of like an extended family to me. Everybody, it's, I know all of the SWAP staff, the majority of the SWAP volunteers. It's, I, I go into the office and I feel at home. But on top of that, it's like we have a bigger meeting. We're part of something bigger. We're working for, for a better our, a better community, a better Albuquerque, a better world, essentially. And I think that feeling that we're working for something bigger kind of makes our family whole. So it's like an extended family. And to me, SWAP means, it's even hard to put in words because it's so important to me. It just, it's kind of the bridge from, for, for change for me. It's the bridge for change because I think that with SWAP, I'm going to be able to create the change because I know that I'm not going to be alone. There's going to be people backing me up and not just people, but people that I care about and people that I know that care about me also because to them, like Lucia said, it, it's like a family, like a second family because they're always there. It's people that you can always count on, people who are there to help you in whatever you need and people who are passionate about the same things that you are. Like, I'm passionate about change. They're passion passionate about change. I care about bettering my community, and so do they. So it's it's not what SWAP means to me. It's more I am SWAP. How do you think using media and documenting this trip will help share the experience and bring it back to New Mexico? This is Lucia. I think that media is a really, really powerful tool. Like what we do here at Youth Radio, it's totally media justice because we're youth on the radio and we talk about things that are important to us and that in includes music, but it also includes like immigration right. and environmental stuff. And I think that by going on the caravan and going to the U.S. Social Forum, we're taking all of that with us. So we're documenting this, this huge, incredible gathering that's going to happen that's all about social justice. And as we're doing that, we're also creating a documentary or a mini, mini, mini documentary <laughs> that's totally about youth in social justice. So I think this is really, really powerful and great. Right. 